So let's look at a more difficult equation here. So I've got v1, v2, v3, v4, v5, and v6. I would like to know, can I take one of these and write it in terms of the others, or more? There may be more, and I can't just look at this right away and tell you which ones are which. So I'm just going to take a general linear combination. So there's my v1, my v2, v3, v4, v5, v6. And the question I'm going to ask is, can I find values for x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, where they're not all 0? Right? If I can find at least one of these where, say, x4 is not 0, then I can solve this equation for v4, and I can tell you that v4 depends on the others, and then that means v4 is somehow redundant information. It doesn't really add to the information given in these sets of vectors. All right. So here's the thing to notice. This is the exact same kind of linear system of equations we've seen before. What does it say? This says that x1 plus 3x2 plus 0x3 plus 2x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus the 0 vector has to give me 0. This line right here says 2x2 plus 7, sorry, 2x1 plus 7x2 plus 2x3 plus 4x4 plus 3x5 plus 8x6 has to be 0. And I can go on down. So in terms of this system of linear equations, I can write this as an augmented matrix. So what do I get? So for my coefficients for x1 are going to be 1, 2, 7, 0. Coefficients for x2 are going to be 3, 7, 25, minus 2. Coefficients for x3 are going to be 0, 2, 8, minus 4. For x4, it's going to be 2, 4, 17, minus 3. x5 is 1, 3, 12, minus 6. x6 is 2, 8, 28, minus 4. And the right-hand side are going to be all zeros. Now, there's my augmented matrix. And I can put this in echelon form and solve for whatever. Solve for my pivots. It's basically what I'm going to do. But here's the issue. Let me go ahead and rewrite this. Let me go back. Sorry. Um, these are all zeros. When I do my row operations, I know I'm just going to take zeros plus zeros, zeros minus zeros. I'm going to multiply my things and add. These are always going to be zeros. There's no reason for me to keep track of that. So I'm basically just going to ignore that and get rid of that and not worry about it. So my augmented matrix now is going to look like this. So this is my v1, which is associated with x1. This is v2 associated with x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6. And I know that I'm going to have a column of zeros. And I know at the end everything's going to be zeros there. So I don't really need to keep track of that. All right. If I put this in row echelon form through the miracles of MATLAB, I'm going to get this. I can basically look at this, and again, I know my right-hand side is going to be all zeros. So what is this? This is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. This row says what? Minus 3 x5 plus x6 is 0. Let me just double check. So there's my pivots, 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 my pivots. So everything to the left of the pivots is zeros. Everything below the pivots are zeros. I'm going to solve for my pivot. So here my pivot is x5. So what do I have? I have minus 3x5 is minus x. Oops, I screwed up. That should be a 2, right? Let me fix this. So that's plus 3x5 
plus 2x6 is 0. So if I subtract minus 2x6, I get that x5 is 2 thirds x6. Right? And that's coming from that equation. And now I'm going to basically do the same thing for the third equation, second equation, and the first equation. So let's see, so x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. I know that x5 is 2 thirds x6. Now I'm going to go to the second equation. What's the second equation? It is 3x4 plus x5 minus 2x6 is 0. x4 is my pivot. So let's see, so I got 3x4 It's going to be minus x5 plus 2x6. So I added, sorry, subtracted x5, added 2x6 to both sides. Oh, looky there. Oops. I know that x5 I can write in terms of x6. So let's see. So that's going to give me what? 3x4 is minus 2 thirds x6. Oops, that should be an x6. It's 2x6. So x4 is going to be minus 2 ninths x6 plus 2 thirds x6. So that's going to be what? Uh, 4 ninths. x sixth. Okay. Oops. All right. So there's my x four. Um, so there's my next pivot. So let's see. So this is going to be my next equation right there. What does this say? This says x two plus two x three plus 0x4 plus 1 times x5 plus 4x6 is 0. My pivot is x2. So I subtract 2x3 from both sides. I can worry about that. That's 0. Subtract x5, subtract 4x6. Now let me go back through here. So I, I can substitute x4 and x5. Notice there's nothing I can do about x3. It's just going to be a variable that's going to be free. So x5 is going to be minus 2 thirds x6 minus 4x6. And if I solve this, I'm going to get minus 2x3. And this should be minus 14 thirds x6. So that's that pivot, and now I gotta go for that pivot. So for that equation, what am I gonna have? I'm gonna have, let's do this. It says what, x1 plus 3x2 plus 0x3 plus 2x4, <coughs> excuse me, plus x5 plus 2x6 is zero. There's my pivot, so I'm gonna solve for that x1 is going to be minus 3x2 minus 0x3 minus 2x4 minus x5 minus 2x6. All right, so x2 is that mess. It's minus 2x3 minus 14 thirds x6. x4 is that. So it's going to be 4 9 x6. Uh, nothing I can do about x5. Oops, I take it back. x5 I know. From here, so that's going to be, so minus 2 thirds x6 minus 2x6 because there's nothing there. I'm just going to tell you what I get from that because I worked this out in advance. So this is going to be 94, 94 ninths x6 plus 54 ninths x6, and so that's going to be what? 6. 
Okay. So those are my now my system of equations. So if I solve that, here's what I get. Uh, so notice now that x6 and x3 are my free variables. So that's basically saying this vector, v3 and v6, I can write in terms of the others. So one way to think about this is this. Suppose I make x3 0 and x6 1. Right, I'll have a 1 there, and then I can basically figure out what x1 is going to be, x2, x4, and x5, <coughs> and I can solve this equation for that, and it will be in terms of those equations. Okay. Same thing with x3. I can set x6 to 0. So if I set x6 to 0 and x3 to 1, I can then solve this equation for these others. So this is basically saying this vector and this vector can be written in terms of v1, v2, v4, and v5. So if I want to uh, write, if I want to look at the span of v1, v2, v3, v4, v5, v6, v3 and v5 I do not need in that set. They don't tell me anything extra because they are already in the span of v1, v2, v4, v5. Okay, so what did we do here? We basically were doing this. We are given some vectors, v1, v2, v3, whatever. You give me those vectors. The question is, are they linearly independent or linearly dependent? Those are the only options you have. So you take a linear combination of those things if the only way this can be true is if that's zero, that's zero, and all these x's are zeros, then they are linearly independent. Because that basically means you cannot solve for one in terms of the others. There's no way to write this without everything being zero. If at least one of these is not zero, then we say the set of vectors is linearly dependent.